are Gregory home. So today I went shopping and got a bunch of really neat items for Thanksgiving dinner. We are hosting this year, so my husband gave me a little bit extra budget money to spend on like new dishes and things like that. So I went a little crazy, well not too crazy, but I got quite a bit of things and I decided, what the heck, might as well just show you guys what I got. So I'm standing in front of my turkey. We haven't named him. If you guys think of a name for our turkey, leave it down below. <laughs> the kids have been uh, trying to figure out a name for him. So uh, yeah, he says gobble gobble and then happy Thanksgiving down at the bottom. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the haul. So I kind of laid everything out on the table so you can get kind of like a quick sneak peek of everything. Um, can you tell I love like natural wood? <laughs> well, I want to go ahead and start with my favorite thing and that is this turkey tray. I love him so much. I'm going to be using him as like a cheese board, so I'm going to put some cheeses on here, you know, some olives, some pickles, things like that. Um, he just has this, the really, this really cool design on him. And the tag says he was made in India, which is kind of cool. And he was also on clearance for only $15 at Marshalls compared at $29.99. So I thought that was a pretty good price. He has like these little pads on the bottom so he doesn't slip around all over the place. But I just thought he was so cool and I am so excited to use him. So he was from Marshalls. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move up to this next thing that I also picked up from Marshalls. It was on clearance for only $5, which is half off, and I already burnt it. I've been burning it pretty much all day today since I got home. But I got a pumpkin pie village candle, and it smells so good. It made my house smell amazing. And I was so excited. It's not no Yankee candle, but it still smells so good. So I'm gonna have this burning actually on Thanksgiving, um, just to kind of give it a little bit extra smell. So I have a little bit of a story with these guys. So I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw one, this one here, and I was like, oh my goodness, how adorable is this? Um, it's Ray Dunn, of course, and this is actually my very first Ray Dunn piece I've ever purchased. Um, but I think, you know, I could use it year round. I could even use it for Christmas, even though it says gobble on it, you know, you can always turn it around or something. But um, she had it listed for $11, and I thought that was a pretty good price, so I paid $11 for it. And then I went to um, Marshall's today, and I saw this one, and I thought, oh, hey, I should just get another one because, uh, you know, the, the gravy that you put in it runs out pretty fast if people, you know, pour a bunch of gravy all over everything. Um, and so I picked this one up, and it was on clearance for $5, you guys. So I bought that one for $11, this one for $5. Um, obviously that's a way better deal, but I don't know, can't complain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move back here. I also picked this up at Marshall's. It was a little bit pricey, it was $9.99, if it'll focus there, $9.99. But this is like pure natural honey, and if you can see in there, it has a honeycomb in there which I thought was really cool. And I needed some honey for my new cheese board that I'm gonna do. But I thought, how cool would it be to take the little honeycomb out and just place it like right on the cheese board or maybe like in a little bowl or something. So I thought that was super cute and like the jar is adorable. I could always reuse that as well. Okay, and next to the honey, I just have some really cute salt and pepper um, shakers here. They're from the same company. These were $7.99 each from Marshalls. And obviously you just turn this thing and it you know, makes the salt and the pepper come out at the bottom. Um, but I realized I, did not, I do not have a salt and pepper shaker um, at all. So I picked up one in the, like the pink Himalayan salt and then of course in the pepper as well. And then over here in the back, I got this really cute utensil caddy. Ooh. So of course it's that same like teak looking wood and it has these nice little handles on it. And then on the front it has the spoon, the knife and the fork. And I just thought that this was so cute. It's plenty big enough. 
We do have parties a lot, so I can use this almost every single party that we do. And if I don't want to use it for utensils, all I have to do is just turn it around. And on the other side, it's just plain right here. So yeah, I thought that this was really cute and um, it'll be nice to have all the silverware organized and everything for everybody. And this was probably the most expensive thing I bought. This one was 12, uh, $12.99, or the, the board I think was more than that. But um, you know, for the price and everything, it has nice little legs on it. I thought it was a decent price for how nice it is. Okay, so the next thing I got is this huge cutting board. It's ginormous. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. Um, it says it's 24 by 16, which is, you know, huge. Um, but I needed something to cut turkeys on because I don't have anything to cut turkeys on. Um, I couldn't just throw them on the counter. So that's why I purchased this huge cutting board. Um, it's nice. It has like a little ridge right here and then the ridge that goes all the way around, you know, so the um, juices don't spill over and that kind of thing. Um, this bad guy was, let's see, 17, he was $17.99 and this one was from Ross. But yeah, what's nice about the bamboo cutting boards is they quite literally last forever as long as you take really good care of them. So we're going to have this for years and years and years to come. All right, the very next thing I got, um, this was actually from Facebook Marketplace. I thought this was, I thought this was so cool. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Um, the bowl comes out, which is really nice. It's easy to clean. These um, wooden pieces don't come out, um, but there's no way for like liquids to escape or anything like that, uh, which makes it really nice. Um, but I thought for Thanksgiving I can put like pita bread and chips and stuff in here and then of course the dip in the middle. Um, and this one I paid $8 for on Facebook Marketplace and it's food safe. I um, already checked the little sticker on the back and everything. I don't know where it's from originally but isn't it so cool? I love it. It's like a full on la Lazy Susan. Okay, and moving on to the very last thing I picked up. I got these at um, my local Goodwill, and I think they are supposed to be napkins. I don't know if they were handmade um, or you know if they're from a store or something, uh, but however, I'm not gonna use them as napkins. I am going to use them as table centerpieces. So if you open it up, it is basically just a square. So yeah, it just opens up and what I'm gonna do is just lay it on the table like this and then like you can get a pumpkin and put a pumpkin in the middle or something like that. Um, and I do have several here. I think there's like eight of them. Um, and so when we have the big, huge, long table for Thanksgiving, I can, you know, put a bunch of them all on the table and then just add like some cute little decor in the middle make it look all cute and festive. So if you guys wanna see like a table decorating video for Thanksgiving, let me know because I have, oh, and then I also got some fabric too. So I have like some fabric and then of course these things, um, you know, and all of my new stuff. Um, but yeah, I would love to know if you guys want to see like a table decorating video, I would love to do something like that. So let me know down below. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching. That's my little haul that I have um, for my thanks new Thanksgiving uh, decor and kitchen items. I'm so excited. I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm still like a newlywed and I don't have like a lot of the nicer stuff that you should have, you know, when you, when you host um, Christmas or Thanksgiving or, you know, parties like that. So it's nice to have the money to go out and spend um, on a little bit nicer things for family gatherings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to always be creative, be unique, but most importantly, be yourself. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.